We have updated Turnitin integration within Bluequill, and this video will walk you through how it impacts instructors and students accessing Turnitin for their assignments. Let's take a look at the integration. When a designer enables the Turnitin tool in a learning object, it displays a button inside the learning object for the instructor and the student view. So this way the users are no longer needed to log in to the Turnitin website to create or find their course or assignment information, but they can directly go to their assignment page from just a button click. They will not be able to navigate to any other assignments from here, but if they needed access to older data, they can always log in to the Turnitin.com website and access the data from there. Instructors can also enable this tool in a class communication object. For each of the object that has Turnitin enabled, instructors will have to click on the Turnitin button before students can access it. Otherwise, students will receive an error and will be asked to contact their instructor. Instructors will have to remember to go to these Turnitin objects individually at the start of the assignment and click on these buttons so that the assignment information gets created in Turnitin and students will be able to find their assignment and submit their work successfully. This integration copies the assignment name from Bluequill to Turnitin and it creates a few other settings for the instructor such as start date, due date, feedback release date, max grade, allow submission types and a few more under option settings. There are some settings that have been disabled and can only be changed by an administrator. Regarding dates, students will not be able to submit prior to the start date. Students are not allowed to upload more than one file per assignment so that they can make resubmissions or even a late submission. The resubmissions are allowed only until the due date of that assignment in Turnitin. Feedback release date enables students to view comments and grades that instructors have left on their papers. Instructors can always change these days depending on the need of the assignment. Turnitin does not check for plagiarism in a piece of work. Instead, it checks the student's work against the database. And if there are instances where the writing is similar to or matches against to one of their sources, the software will flag this for the instructors and students to review. For a new submission made by the student, it takes a few minutes for the similarity report to come back. And if the student needed to resubmit again, it is advised to wait for 24 hours. Instructors can provide feedback by adding comments and giving a score. This is released to students after the feedback release date that is set on that assignment in Turnitin. If instructor chooses for this feedback to be released sooner, then they will have to change the date in the Turnitin. The feedback or any other data will not be copied from Turnitin to Bluequill. The instructors and students will be required to follow the submission and grading process as per the usual in Bluequill. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.